Hey, and welcome to Rob's Reviews. My name is Rob, and this is a review, hence hence the name. Uh, it's Celebrity Big Brother, is what I'm going to do. 2015, Celebrity Big Brother on Channel 5. There's a cheap plug for you, because I know you need it, because you've been going down the hill since, you know, you've come off Channel 4. And basically, here is my kind of thoughts on the contestants. And uh, this is like the fifth time I've fucking tried to do this video, because there's been so many interruptions... And uh, yeah, warning, strong language. I already said fuck. I probably should have warned you before that. Anyway, uh, here's my view on some of the contestants and uh, what uh, what's yeah what they what they're doing. Um, Alicia Duval probably said that wrong. Probably butchered her fucking name. Uh, she hasn't done much. Like I've seen her in group conversations, and uh, she really doesn't seem to bring anything to the to the table at all. She was Cameron Diaz's arse double, so uh well done for you for, you know, cheating me out of, you know, having fun at Cameron Diaz's arse at one point. But, you know, uh yep, she's done nothing. Uh, same with Cammy Lee. She's been a bit of topic of controversy. Um uh, she's got tattoos, good for her. I like her tattoos, especially on her arse. That's not sexist. I'm not Ken Morley. Um, she, she's fine, I guess. Uh, Chloe Goodman, again, seems to fucking do nothing. Michelle Visage, I, I haven't really seen much of her. I don't know what she actually brings to the fucking, the thing at all. Uh, Nadia Swalahili, or whatever her name is, she just seems to be some fucking buzzkill, just putting her face in everyone's business. She tries to sort something out, but in ways she makes it worse. And in general, I find her really irritating. Like, as a person, she doesn't seem to come in, like, with a calm head and just be like, oh, sorry, did we just uh, kind of sort this out in a quiet way? She kind of comes in shouting and raging, and she kind of, like, fucks everything up even more. So, yeah, she's she seems like a waste. Um... Patsy Kensett, I like Patsy Kensett, you know, when her first VT showed, you know, she started by saying fuck a lot, and, you know, that's good for me, so uh, she's alright in my books, again, she hasn't done anything substantial yet, like, I feel a lot of the candidates, contestants in this, I don't know why I keep saying candidates, haven't done a lot, you know, and the ones that have, like, people fucking hate, so, yeah, oh, talking about people who haven't done a lot, Kavanaugh, fucking caviar, Fucking, he sounds like a posh dish that posh people eat in a posh restaurant, which is basically fish eggs. Uh, Kavanaugh, like, he was like, a, what is he? Like, he has not done nothing. Like, he tried to do some song or something with old Alexander O'Neill, and, oh, God, he hasn't done anything since. He's so boring, like, literally, like... What does he do? What's the point in him being there? Like, uh, I guess I can't say anything bad against him because he's literally done nothing. So that's basically cleared up all the people that have done fuck all. Now let's get to the interesting people. And by interesting, I mean fucking annoying cunts. Perez Hilton. Oh my God, he is the centre of attention. Not that I'm one to, you know, moan about that. But like, oh my God, what an absolute bastard. Like, oh, he cried when Ken Morley got kicked out. It's like, what is your fucking deal, mate? Like, honestly, he, he's such a dick. He's such a cunt. I hate him. Get him out. He's bringing nothing good to this except causing me fucking irritation in my bowels just looking at his fucking face, wanting me to punch him in his head. You know, when you get out of pit, Perez, whatever your fucking name is, I would fear for your safety. It's not a threat. I just wanted to say it like that. Because you said something like that on Big Brother. And it pissed me off. Because you're a dick. And as you can tell, I really don't really like Perez Hilton at all. Keith Chegwin. What a lovely man. I don't know why he's in there. Because, you know, he might just end up ruining his reputation of being like a British treasure. And, oh, he's lovely. And someone said the other day on there, it's like, oh, he, you know... Keith Chegwin, Cheggers, he's a he's a British, he's a national treasure, and you know that's a, that's a tough title to come by, and we don't give that to many people. Uh, Jimmy Savile, Rolf Harris, we've done well with national treasures recently. Keith Chegwin, I hope you don't fuck this up on national TV on Channel Five. Not that many people watch it nowadays, but yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Keith Chegwin. Doing fucking alright in my book. He's a nice bloke. Hope he doesn't get his little cheggers out on TV again. 
Who's who's left? Who's left that I haven't? Katie Hopkins. I'm surprised. I want her to be more controversial and start making fun of uh, obese people and things and telling people, you know, to put down the fork and maybe that will stop them dieting and all that shit. I want her to be more controversial. She's been a fucking disappointment in my book. She um seems all right. She seems really normal, which stresses me out that I think Katie Hopkins is normal. And I think the rest of the public is probably thinking the same thing. Also, she kind of looks a little bit attractive, which I'm worried about. Like, I didn't, you know... Yeah, that's... Uh, all right, leave her alone now. I, you know, speaking about how hot Katie Hopkins is, that's uh, that's got me on the downhill. Jeremy Jackson, like, I thought the guy was all right. Like, he was obviously clearly on the verge of a mental breakdown when he went in, and... Uh, he accidentally pulled a, a woman's top down, revealing a breast. I'm pretty sure the woman was like a page three model or something. Like, so a breast is clearly around on the internet. So it's not like a big thing. Obviously, you know, it's classed as sexual harassment or whatever. And, you know, obviously it's bad and he shouldn't have done it. I believe he thought there was like a bra on underneath, you know, and they're basically already, already fucking walking about in bras and thongs. So that would be... No big deal, but I can see why he got kicked out. But I, I swear in previous Big Brothers, women have pulled uh, men's trousers down or whatever, and that's just been acceptable and been funny. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, so he seemed all right until he got kicked out for grabbing a woman's tit or something. Ken Morley, where do we start? This guy fucking made me crack up. Yeah, he was a little bit sexist, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. And he had some sort of racial discrimination thing going on, which uh, I, I just think he's just like an old person, and that's the kind of generation they were brought up into. And now it's not really acceptable, but I don't know if he quite knows that. And I know a lot of people were saying he's trying to be controversial and all that shit. And maybe he was. But I think the actual racist, racist slurs he was using, which... You know, I, I don't actually think he intended to... I don't think he intended to cause offence with it, is what I was trying to say. The other thing is definitely... But in his defence, right, if if I was in a house with a load of hot girls walking around in bikinis, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to have a look as well. I'm not going to be as blatant and fucking brag about it and be like, oh, Alexander, did you did you see her when she bent over and you saw her chuffing her deal? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, good on you. Like, oh, like he needs to be subtlety. And trust me, I'm not that subtle either. But I'm subtler than him and I can be proud of that. Um, So, yeah, I think he gets a lot of slack, but I think most men were looking at their asses and would look at their asses if they were in his situation. Uh, unless you're gay like Perez, in which case I'd want to punch you in the face. Not because you're gay. I'm all up for gay people. It's just Perez Hilton is a cunt. And I can't say that enough because, well, he just is a cunt and I hate him. Um, on to the last one. Alexander O'Neill. He's literally, he's another Cavendish or Caviar, whatever his face is. He's done nothing. I'm pretty sure the Big Brother producers were like, oh, uh, we need another Negro. Oh, no, can't say that. Um, We need another black person in the house. So, uh, oh, shit, well, another one. We need one to, uh, you know, stop people getting all PC on our arse. And, you know, we need some sort of ethnic diversity. So let's get Alexander O'Neill. He seems like a nice bloke. He said something weird, like, Telling the girls to cover up because you should keep that for your boyfriends and you should be a Mormon and cover your body up or so, oh, some shit, you know. They can dress how they like, in my opinion, you know. Uh, it, yeah, I, I kind of didn't get that. He was trying to explain to them modesty and fair enough, be modest. But um, if you want to, you know, don't tell bitches how to dress, yo. You know, that's not your place. Um, and that's it, basically. I'm going to fucking ramble if I go on. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit, and I'll try and turn this camera off without fucking doing something stupid.